Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and you know what? Business obviously is doing good. Been able to help a whole lot of churches with camera systems, live streaming, um, PCs, and a bunch of stuff like that. Now, one thing is when you do a lot of stuff like this, you get some attention, and the fine folks at Ori um, sent me something that they feel would assist with what I'm doing, and that happens to be a good old-fashioned KVM. So let's talk about what this is and how I'm actually going to use it. First time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. Um, so what's the purpose of this? Like, you know, I have a one-bedroom apartment, and when like a couple of weeks ago I had boxes everywhere because just from computer parts. And normally, I have to set up all these systems one at a time, over and over. Um, and it gets kind of tedious, but a lot of times, I'll have maybe five, seven systems that I'm all doing at the same time. And, hey, let's kick it up a notch. And that's where this KVM will come in place. And what is a KVM? I mean, it's the pretty much where you can hook up one set of keyboard, mouse, and monitor but then hook all the computers up to the device and now you only have to have one monitor one keyboard and mouse and you just press a button and you can control everything now I do use something similar but it's a software based one that I can use my keyboard and mouse but I still need a monitor so this is going to allow you will allow me to be able to say hook up two systems and just press a button and I can do two systems at the same time. Now they do have bigger ones, but they sent me this one that has um, three inputs, two computers, one for a USB um, C, so if you got a laptop that supports that or a phone or something like that, that would work. And then I can send this to a monitor and it doesn't have to be a computer monitor. I have, I'm gonna have mine set up to that 4K monitor right behind here so let me show you what comes in this thing really not a lot but let's just see what's in it all right so here is the unit itself like i said not anything super um straightforward i mean not really complicated that's what i meant to say um retail price of this is going for about 44 dollars 99 cents so not very expensive so on the front right here we have a usb-c we have a selector for three inputs. If I can get myself in focus, there you go, for three inputs. Um, there's an LED under that. You got a massive select button. And then on the back, you got a bunch of inputs. You got input, um, well, you got power over a USB mini. I don't know why they didn't do a C, but hey, whatever. You got, probably got plenty of adapters left over as things move to USB-C. But you have your HDMI in and you have a USB in. Let me move over here so I can get in better focus. Um, so we have a USB in, which is a type A. I had to order an extra one because I only have one type of this. So you need a cable that has both ends of this. HDMI in and then another USB type A and HDMI in. And then you have two other USBs and an HDMI out. So one of these is you can connect your keyboard and mouse. I'm going to use a wireless adapter to plug into there. And then the next one, you can actually put a thumb drive in there and or storage and you can share across the connections. So what I'm going to use this for is here is the PC for greater works that I'm working on. And this is my old laptop. So what I'm going to do is have both of these hooked up and then connect it to my 4K. TV right here. So let me do that real quick. Alrighty. Where's my power cable? Where's my power cable? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hook this up here, get some power. Alright, very straightforward. And then, like I said, you need a type A cable here. So this is the same end on both sides, which is 
very rare. USB-C is more common like this. I only had one of these, so that's why I had to order another one. Go ahead and connect that. Oh, that's the wrong one. I'm going to connect that into input number two. We have the... This is the... Yeah, HDMI from the PC. So we're going to connect that one there. Alright, and then I have uh, the HDMI out that's going to my TV. I have my wireless keyboard and the adapter there. And then we got another set of cables that are going to the laptop there. some up oh, and there we go so now let's go ahead and cut our TV on I'm gonna sit back here and make sure my keyboard is on actually all right so Actually, as you see, it's blinking on input number one, but I don't have anything on there. So let's switch that to input number two. All right, got a solid signal. And boom, that is this PC here. So if I go ahead and have my keyboard here, open up our, my computer, boom works perfectly fine but now let's go ahead and switch over to this one this is the laptop here let's go ahead and switch it over input number three as you see boom now we're connected to my laptop and I'm still using the same keyboard to control everything let's go ahead and log in there and boom. So as you can see, I have it mirrored on here. So very, very slick. Makes it really easy. And then this can save me a lot of space. Now you got to think, if you are kind of like me or you have multiple situations where your, your, dex, uh, your desk space is kind of limited, where which mine kind of is, um, let me zoom out here so you can actually see. Um, command central of where AJ the CEO does all this stuff. As you can see, I have very little space with everything on here. Um, you know, so obviously I would love to be able to simplify a lot of the things that I have. So I can have maybe one monitor here because this monitor here is a 4K monitor. I can have multiple inputs on the back of this. I can put the KVM under there and then just run my extension cables up under here and then it's just a press of a button with my keyboard i can run my regular system into it and then other systems so that i don't have to keep moving everything around so that is an ideal situation for me and that's how i'm going to use this but you got to think there's so many other options of what you could do so say i mean I deal with so many churches as well too and I think this would be a good option especially if they're very limited in their space you can still have a presentation system and a live streaming system you can just simply press a button and then boom you're going over and you can have one monitor that feeds to both of them and you save yourself a lot of space you can put the computers on the floor kind of like mine and just have one monitor and still go back and forth so Thank you so much. All right, they actually sent this to me. Um, so again, thank you so much. They are not reviewing this content before anything I said. These were all my opinions, and this is exactly how I'm going to use it. And I might even, depending on how things go, as we're simplifying more people in the church, especially in our media ministry, instead of having everybody run around, we could isolate all of this, plug this into this one or maybe get a more um, a bigger input one for maybe four systems plug everything into that system in one monitor 
and you can control everything. I think that would be kind of slick. But anyway, thank you so much, um, Ori, again, for sending this out to me and letting me take a look at it and playing around with it. And thanks for solving the problem that I have with the stuff that I'm doing. Um, let me know if you have any other questions about the device. Like I said, I tried to hook up my phone into the USB-C, but mine does not work because my... Um, Samsung phone does some type of desktop interface and it just didn't work. I tried a couple of them um, and I can't, I was going to try my daughter's um, tablet, but it's a uh, USB micro, so wasn't able to connect it that way. It didn't register. But anyway, let me know if you have any other questions about this um, and, and I can test it out as best uh, in different situations. I'm not in my church this Sunday, so I might take it with me um, first Sunday of next month since I'm going to be out. But let me know. There's a link in the description if you're interested in it. You know, just know that that is an affiliate code, just like I always do with all the links there below. We get a little kickback that helps grow this channel, but you get your product and it doesn't cost you a dime more. So if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing, and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come up with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank the patrons and the YouTube members for making this video possible. Their name's on the screen right now, and you too can become a patron or a YouTube member for as little as $1 a month or a YouTube member by clicking the join button below. And no matter which way you pick, folks, you are helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video. Later.